الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد مبت الله عبدا ببلاء وهو على طريقة يكرهها إلا جعل الله ذلك البلاء كفارة وكفورا Any servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that goes through difficulty, hardships, turmoil, sickness and at that point in time he is patient ما لم ينزل ما سأصابه من البلاء بغير الله أو يدعو غير الله في كشفه He does not turn his attention to the creation His attention doesn't go anywhere else He does not ask anybody else His dua, his attention is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And he is patient and knows that this condition is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Except that's a mean for purification and cleansing of his sins and expiation and atonement for all the gunas and sins that he's committed. Inna idha mal jazai ma idha mil balai. The greatness of reward, the magnificence and the intensity of reward is based on the intensity of the difficulty. Wa inna Allah Taala idha ahabba qawman ibtalahum. When Allah loves a certain group of people, He puts them into difficulties and trials. فَمَنْ رَضِيَ فَلَهُ الرِّضَى Whoever is happy with that condition that Allah has put on them, then Allah will be pleased with them. وَمَنْ سَخِطَى فَلَهُ السُّخْتُ And whoever, when that condition comes to them, immediately, at that point in time, not one day, one hour later, at that point when that calamity befalls them, if they display unhappiness, some uh, are annoyed, or they show some bitter feelings, then they are worthy of the wrath and the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once Nabi alayhi salam was walking and he seen Sahaba, he said, Kayfa asbahtum? They said, Mu'minina billah. They believe in iman in Allah. Wa ma alamatu imanikum? What is the sign that you have this iman? They replied, Nashkur ala al-rakha. When there are good conditions, we are grateful to Allah. Wa nasbir ala al-bala. And when difficulties come, we are patient. Wa narda bil qada. And we are happy with the addition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Said, Qala antum mu'minun haqqa wa rabbil ka'bah By the qasam of Allah You people are the people of Iman truly A person came to Nabi alayhi salam He said, Inna akhi istatlaqa batnu That he has diarrhea Faqala ispayhi aslan Give him honey Fasaqahu So he came back to Nabi alayhi salam He said, I gave him the honey Falam yazidhu illa istatlaqan but the diarrhea is continuing, there's no change. So Nabi alayhi salam said again, give him honey. Second time, third time he came. Nabi alayhi salam said, no, give him honey. Sadaq Allah wa kathaba batnu akhik. Allah has spoken the truth and the stomach of your brother has lied. It's a deception. Don't believe it. It's doing the job. ثُمَّ تَعُوا فَقَالَ قَدْ فَعَلْتُ فَبَرِئَ He said, I've done what you've told me, O Nabi of Allah, and Allah has cured him. So we have to have yaqeen in the zaat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this condition that has come is from Allah, He's all-knowing, He's all-wise. Number two, to make tawbah, to ward off any calamities, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ مُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not chastise them or punish them if they are engaged in istighfar and tawbah. So one is to make sincere tawbah and to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to busy our tongues with istighfar. Ibn Abbas said, لَمْ يُعَذَّبْ قَرْيَةً حَتَّى يَخْرُجَ النَّبِي مِنْهَا وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ That no locality, any punishment came except Allah removed the Nabi and the people of Iman. And you say, كَانَ فِيهِمْ أَمَانًا There were two protections for this Ummah, Nabi Allah وَالْإِسْتِغْفَارِ We had the Nabi of Allah and Istighfar. فَذَهَبَ النَّبِي وَبَقِيَ الْإِسْتِغْفَارِ Nabi alayhi salam has departed from this world but yet we have Istighfar. And one rewrite, Al-Abdun Aminun Min Adhabillah Mastaghfar Allah That a person, a servant is indemnified from the azab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
as long as he is making istighfar. That's why shaitan is taking a qasam. وَعِزَّتِكْ يَا رَبِّي لَا أَبْرَحُ أَغْوِي عِبَادَكَ مَا دَامَتْ أَرْوَاهُمْ فِي أَجْسَادِهِمْ As long as their souls are in their bodies, I'll make sure they go to Jahannam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَا أَزَالُ أَغْفِرُ لَهُمْ مَسْتَغْفَرُونِ You can continue trying what you want to do, but I will continue to forgive them as long as they continue to make istighfar. Another riwayat, أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ أَمَانَيْنِ لِأُمَّتِي Allah has put in two protections for my ummah. فَإِذَا مَضَيْتُ And when I depart, تَرَكْتُ فِيهِمْ الْإِسْتِغْفَارِ إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ I have left istighfar for them till the day of Qiyamah. Ali رضي الله عنه say, that's strange, how strange, مِنْ مَيْ يَهْلِكْ وَمَعَهُ النَّجَاهِ that that person can ever be destroyed, yet he has the formula for success and salvation. He said, I'm amazed that somebody can allow Allah's azab and calamity to befall them when they have the key to success. Qila wa ma hiya. What is the success of Ali? Qala al-istighfar. To be perpetually Engage in this istighfar. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ When Nuhu alayhi salam told his people to make istighfar, the ulama have written, فَإِنَّ الْإِسْتِغْفَارَ سَبَبٌ لِجَلْبِ النِّعْمِ That through istighfar you will draw the bounties of Allah. وَدَفْعِ النِّقَمِ And the azab and the calamity that should fall, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove that. وَسَبَبٌ لِتَحْسِيلِ الرَّحْمَةِ وَالْأَرْزَاقِ And it is a means of achieving risk. Ala adullukum ala da'ikum wa dawa'ikum. Should I not show you your sickness and your cure? Ala inna da'akum adhunub. Your sickness are sins. Wa dawa'akum الاستغفار إن يوكيو is making استغفار نذر رواية إن لكل داء دواء for every sickness there is a cure وإن دواء الذنوب الاستغفار and the cure for sins is making استغفار ما ألهم الله سبحانه وعبدا الاستغفار علماء فرتن that Allah will not give a person the opportunity to make istighfar wa huwa yuridu ay yu'adhibahu and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to punish him. Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam forget what we say ma'asiyat and disobedience just on normal actions. He relieved himself ghufranaka ya Allah make me maf a moment in my day went without your dhikr. Forget just fulfilling one's needs, we need to make istighfar, but in ibadat also. And Nabi alayhi salam used to make wudu, after wudu he used to make istighfar. When a majlis used to end, he used to say, make istighfar. As that Abu Bakr radiallahu anh asked the Nabi of Allah, Allimni du'an adu bihi fi salati. Teach me such a dua that I can make in my salat. Qala Allahumma inni zhalamtu nafsi zhulman kathira. Oh Allah, I've made dhulam a great oppression. Man lazim al-istighfar, who is habitual and their daily routine is to make istighfar. Ja'al Allah lahu min kulli dhiqin makhraja. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find for him a solution and ease from every difficulty and hardship. Wa min kulli ham min faraja. And from every worry and anxiety Allah will find an opening for him a relief. وَرَزَقَهُمْ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him risk from where he can never imagine. That's why he said Ibn Jawzi. Somebody asks Ibn Jawzi, أَوْ سَبِّحْ أَوْ أَسْتَغْفِرْ Should I make a lot of tasbih? Or should I make a lot of istighfar? His reply was, أَثَّوْبُ الْوَسِخْ أَحْوَجُ لِلصَّابُونَ مِنَ الْبَخُورِ that soil, dirty clothing, requires soap more than incense. A dirty 
cloth, a soiled cloth, requires more soap, washing powder, than incense. So we need to cleanse. And this is a means of protection. As the Sheikh Muhammad Zakaria Rahimullah once mentioned, and I will quote his words, My beloved friends, going on discussing one's difficulties and problems will not bring about any solution, nor will it help you. In the face of hardships and difficulties, nothing benefits a person except istighfar and earnestly turning to Allah in dua. Mention this advice of mine to your friends and associates and frequently remind them of it as well. We should understand that all difficulties and calamities that we experience are actually the result of our evil actions. In reality, the difficulties that we face on account of our sins and wrongs are much less than we are deserving of. My beloved friends, each person should look into his own heart to introspect over his condition and see what sin he is involved in. The truth of the matter is that we are only continuing our present condition to the mercy of Allah and the blessing of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa as we are definitely deserving of far greater punishments and difficulties. When difficulties and calamities overcome us, then falling into anxiety and depression will not help us. It is crying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance that will help us. So we need to introspect and check and make sincere tawbah when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends to send an adab to any locality. Inna Allah ta'ala yaqulu inni laham bihalil ardi adaban. I intend to send a adab and a calamity to a certain locality. Faida nadrtu ila ammari buyuti. I first look at the houses of Allah, the masajid, the musalla, the places of salah. Is that full or empty? Wal mutahabbin fiya, and people meet for my pleasure. Wal mustaghfirin bil ashar. And those people in the darkness of the night are seeking istighfar. Saraftu adabi anhum, I will divert that calamity from them. In another riwayat, ila julasa il Quran. And I look if there are people reciting the Quran. Sakana ghadabi. That tilawat and that Quran will cool my anger. Will cool my anger. So let us make tawbah in the sign that a person is sincere in his tawbah, is now he's rushing to good actions. And he has taqwa. And that's the second point. That at the time of difficulties and calamities and hardships, we need to make war and declare war from sun and masya. More than being particular about taking our vitamins and our nutrition and our tablets, we need to make sure that we abstain from sun. Taqwa. وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا Whoever has taqwa, no matter what condition, what hal, what situation, who's plotting, who's planning, how deep, how far they're planning, ah, makhraja. Allah will find a solution. You don't need to solve that problem. They've got phase one, phase two, plan A, plan B. It is not your problem. You adopt taqwa. وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ يُسْرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove all difficulties and grant ease to you. So no matter how much destruction is in front of a person when he adopts taqwa, this is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove all difficulties and hardships. In another riwayat, لَوْ لَا شُيُوخٌ رُكَّعٌ This is the power of ibad and amal. If it wasn't the elderly people that were bowing to Allah and kneeling to Allah. Another riwayat, لَوْ لَا عِبَادُ اللَّهُ رُكَّعٌ If it wasn't the pious servants of Allah that are submitting in the obedience of Allah. وَشَبَابٌ خُشَّعٌ And the 
obedient, submissive youth, the obedient youth, وَأَتْفَالٌ رُبَّعٌ and the suckling infants, وَبَهَايِمُ رُتَّعٌ and the grazing animals, لَصَبَّ عَلَيْكُمُ الْعَذَابَ صَبَّ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have inflicted you with trials and calamities, azab would have gushed down, would have flooded from the heavens and wiped you out. لو لا أهل الطاعة لهلك أهل المعصية. If it wasn't for the obedient servants of Allah on this earth, لهلك the sinners, those people that have guts and the audacity to disobey Allah, لهلك they would have been wiped out. In the way Ibn Umar رضي الله عنه said, إن الله لا يدفع بالمسلم الصالح أن مئة أهل بيت من جيرانه البلاء. That through a pious believer, through his good actions, through that servant that abstains from guna, he is in front of Allah in the darkness of the night, crying. Even though he never committed guna, وهم مستغفرون وبالأسهار in the darkness of the night. They are crying in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repels calamity a hundred, a hundred houses around him. ثُمَّ قَرَأَ Then he read this ayah as a dalil and proof. لَوْ لَا دَفُوا اللَّهِ النَّاسِ بَعْضَهُمْ بِبَعْضٍ لَفَسَدَتِ الْأَرْضِ If we not for Allah and al and assessing the Ummah on an ijtimai basis and seeing the good actions of certain people and through their good actions Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala withholds the asab lafasadati al ard then you will Allah would have wiped out everything on the earth hal tunsarun wa turzaqun illa bi du'afa'ikum through certain people's amal and actions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala withholds the azab and the calamity. Inna Allah la yuslihu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects people bi salahi rajil muslim through his piety. Waladuhu wa waladu waladihi. His children, his grandchildren, the people of his household the people and the neighbors in his locality. وَلَا يَزَالُونَ فِي حِذِّ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ مَا دَامَ فِيهِمْ And all these people are protected. They in the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as long as this person is alive. Allah's protection is with them. So let us turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our istighfar and tawbah and repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not lose this opportunity to capitalize of dunya and akhirat. Whoever makes wudu faqala subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk Whoever reads this dua after making wudu, Kutiba fi raqqin, it is written, engraved on some parchment, thumma ju'ila fi tabi'in, and that is placed in a capsule, in a sealed capsule, falam yuksar ila yawmi al-qiyama, it will be preserved so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can recompense him on the day of qiyama. May Allah give us tawfiq of making amal. Wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alameen.